Alright, so what's good y'all? Malcolm from Game 7. Here with Mr. Daquan Mills today. AKA Mills. I don't think I've ever called him Daquan. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, it's a video. Nas is here too. He just had to make it known. Uh, so <laughs> just be quiet. So we're here today because a couple weeks ago, my friend G was having a, a going away party. He's he uh, got a new job and he and he had to move. So we were all there for a cookout. And I'm downstairs talking to KP, uh, G, and whoever else was down there. A bunch of us was down there. And uh, I see this person come downstairs and start playing with the baby. I'm like, who this dude playing with the baby? I don't know everybody there, but it just looked. Something caught my attention. And then he walked over, and it was Mills. I'm like, damn, yo. Because I hadn't seen Mills in a while, and he lost so much weight. How much weight did you lose? Uh, since the last time you saw me, probably about 75. How much have you lost from like peak? From peak to now? I uh, probably like uh, 125. So we're gonna say on average like 110 pounds, right? Yeah. So I didn't even notice who he was. <laughs> um, and by now, if you've been keeping up with us, that's amazing, you know, for somebody to commit themselves to change the kind of habits that they had for their whole life. And this happened quick too, at least from my perspective. Uh, to get these kind of results. So, uh, right there at the cook, I said, yo, we got to interview you and uh, and s see what changed about you. And uh, KP last week said too, yo, we got to interview Mills. So, here we are. So, I got a couple questions prepared for you. Absolutely. We're going to take it wherever we take it. Absolutely. Uh, so, let's get to it. So, number one, what inspired you to make such significant changes in 1B what made you stay consistent with them? Well, the changes always wanted to, uh, it's been like a lifelong journey to be for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Always been an athlete, playing football, basketball, so on and so forth growing up. Mm -hmm. um, mainly football being my, like, my, my, my go-to sport. Always wanted to better myself, be the fastest, be the strongest. Um, and by that virtue, in the sport, you know what I mean? You have to be in some sort of kind of physical people or mm -hmm. shape. Uh, without regards to whatever position you play. So running back, lineman, I have to be in some physical shape. So it's always been there. Like, I've always been there. Um, always been a chubby kid. Mm -hmm. um, so I always wanted to work on that, especially when I hit that high school uh, phase um, mm -hmm. and wanted to get stronger, wanted to get more physical shape uh, to better myself. Um, honestly, it was just lately, things happen in your life for a reason and a season. Mm -hmm. So I really want to play off of, of that one. Um, <clears throat> and it just so happens that at that point in place when things happen for your, your, your life for a reason in a season, you guys have started to build, build up something very strong. Um, and at that point in place in space, as the young man I am, seeking like knowledge, guidance, understanding, you know what I mean? And young brothers like yourself and myself for what you guys have did, when I got that, it attracted me to it. So to be quite honest, it was, it was, a, it was me and then it was honestly what we as brothers need and it's what you guys at game seven you know what i mean i like that platform and it's something that i push and i'm with y'all where it was like stop talking about it do it mm -hmm. that's 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 the realest set of real and it was just like all right man just do it and i mean that played with everything where it was like my finances my my um my mentality my emotions my spirituality uh, what I was eating, everything came across like that, and it all just came down to one rudimentary thing that you guys at Game Seven was promoting. That was just, hey, just, just do the work. Mm -hmm. Everything about it. Um, so it was just like at that point, place and space, and then at this turn of page of thirty. So I'm thirty now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, things just click a little differently for us, and I'm pretty sure you can identify with that. The mm -hmm. rest of you, uh, the fellas in the team, can identify with that as well. Where we hit a certain plateau in life, <clears throat> excuse me, as young men, young black men, mm -hmm. um, where we want something different. Uh, more than likely, and what I've seen that I've surrounded myself with, and as you guys have, is something you want something of greater growth. That's gonna be positive to you. Um, so at that point in place, like at this point in place in space, it's like, yeah, I want something different. I wanna do, I have to do something different. I can't keep doing the same things I was doing years before this. Mm -hmm. um, whether 
things were working before me then and things are different now and you got to make the changes the idea was just to make the changes now and just be consistent with it mm -hmm. um and then over the time it actually became sort of kind of uh at least for me the workout the the healthy lifestyle for lack of better words the look and stuff came afterwards it was all just for what i needed to feel yeah i need to change how i felt yeah. <clears throat> so i need to change how i mentally thought how i process stuff how I may even um, look at myself in the mirror. Um, understanding that virtue and that factor, like it helped me and it pushed me along that way. And at, like I said, at this point, place and spaces, everything is growth. Mm -hmm. And I don't wanna make it seem like it's this whole cliche thing, but it's reality. It's like mm -hmm. it's growth. Like I need something different for myself, mentally, physically, financially, so on and so forth. Um, and one of the biggest things, I was like, man, if you can't do nothing, at least you could do is change what you're eating, what you're doing with yourself, mm -hmm. like on a basic rudimentary way. Mm -hmm. At this nuclear level, at least I can change what I'm doing to my mind, body, and well, at least what I'm doing to my body. Mm -hmm. What I'm eating, how I physically feel, um, and then follow after that is gonna be emotional, mm -hmm. spiritual. Mm -hmm. And then after that, what we all trying to get to, financial. Mm -hmm. And you know the old saying goes, you know what I mean, playing ball, you know what I mean, you, you look good, you feel good, you play good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it was all basically just, I need to feel good. You know what I mean? And it wasn't a sense of, it's however anyone wants to take it. Mm -hmm. You may look in the mirror, look at yourself, it's like what you want to feel good about yourself about. Whether it's a physical situation, financial situation, family. I just noticed that, I mean, I need something different. Mm -hmm. It was just a feeling. It was a feeling, feeling, feeling. That's one thing I just want to push. Like, mm -hmm. it was an emotional feeling and physical feeling that I was after mm -hmm. to feel happy, mm -hmm. to be in a better place, to be in a better space, more joy, um, more self awareness, mm -hmm. um, accountability. Mm -hmm. That was another big one, like accountability. So, all of this came at, like, at the same time. Or it might have been in front of me, but now it's like, I recognize it. Mm -hmm. And so I just make the changes. Mm -hmm. um, and I fall short sometimes, mm -hmm. um, all the time. Um, that's another thing that I was thinking about uh, with sitting down with you guys today. Another thing I really enjoy about it, you um, you guys at the Game 17, man, you guys don't promote perfection. Mm -hmm. You promote, from my, my, my view, you promote consistency. 90%. Consistency. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I ain't never, I, and even from day one since I've known you, um, and you guys, like individually, just as, as just as, as friends, mm -hmm. as homies, as 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 boys, like it was always just like, man, just do something, mm -hmm. just do something, just do something. Um, I don't want to get too nostalgic, but I remember we was in college, man, um, and Malk, um, Malk Ben Malk. Everyone who knows Malk know Malk. So um, it was a situation going on. In fact, the matter is. I did some things where it's like I pulled back and it was sort of kind of showing character mm -hmm. as uh, being indecisive, being fearful, whatever the case may be. And Malk, if you know Malk, Malk a few words, was like, yo, yo, get it together. Mm -hmm. Straight up and down, straight up and down, get it together. I remember when you first started, another nostalgic moment, um, when you guys first started the program or so, uh, I reached out to you or so. Um, and you hit a nail on the head, which was the biggest thing too. Um, and it came in the right time, and it was like, "Yo, invest in yourself." Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest things I've been doing. And it's sort of kind of like an addiction because you become uh, you become addicted to putting your head down and being alone. You know what I mean? And you mm -hmm. become addicted to um, your focus and your grind and your steps and your pace and you sort of kind of like put on those uh those those racer blinders and you can't see anything else mm -hmm. a tunnel vision mm -hmm. uh aside from what you have set up um so that's another big thing i took from it um and it was just learning lessons just learning lessons you know you just had to learn about how i learn myself mm -hmm. learn what i was feeling mm -hmm. learn what i was doing learning what i was creating for myself um and making the changes in real time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not talking about it, not using it as a crutch. Mm -hmm. um, another thing uh, I really admire, and it's another thing I'm, I'm a big, big fan of, and I promote as well, is like, you guys at Game 7 do not, um, you don't play that crutch thing. Mm -hmm. And the crutch thing is, and I mean, and I mean many of our, our situation was like, um, mm -hmm. my family, mm -hmm. my nuclear situation. Mm -hmm. 
you guys at game seven, it's like, yo, change it now. Mm -hmm. You got the power to make the change. You got the flexibility to make the change. Mm -hmm. All that other stuff, anyone else is you. Mm -hmm. It's no one else. You know what I mean? Um, so this is also another, and one thing I want to also stress too about this, this process is it's a feeling I was chasing and what you're seeing is just the results of the feeling of, that I was chasing. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, it was for everything, not just to, to, to lose weight and all of that. It was everything, mentally, physically, financially, and no flex, no nothing, but it is true value to things have grown. Yeah, yeah. And all of those features, and it was mm -hmm. only due to just consistency. Mm -hmm. It's very rudimentary. Mm -hmm. It's very rudimentary. You know what I mean? Um, and by me saying it's rudimentary, I'm not trying to take anything or devalue anything from this team, man. Mm -hmm. By rudimentary, it means it's just you. Mm -hmm. You don't need a whole lot of. You don't need a whole lot of. Only thing I could take of is just a whole lot of consistency and knowledge. Mm -hmm. But you don't need a whole lot of sit down with mentors. You don't need a whole lot of, sometimes you just got to do it. And by you just doing it, all that whole lot of you're looking for is going to come to you. Process. Once you just start doing it, um, the mistakes, that's the biggest one too. The mistakes are going to come. Mm -hmm. You're going to meet the mentors. You're going to meet the, the people that are being played. You're going to meet that, that, that financial marker you're trying to reach. You're going you're gonna to touch what you're trying to touch once you just start doing it. Mm -hmm. Once you just start moving. Mm -hmm making small little steps mm -hmm. and the smallest little thing too you um you guys at game seven that I, I really enjoy is that you took it at a uh, a very chopped down portion for lack of better words mm -hmm. meaning you went 20 20 20 mm -hmm. 20 minutes of reading uh if I, if I if not verbatim but 20 and please help me out 20 minutes of reading mm -hmm. uh 20 minutes of exercise mm -hmm. um and then 20 minutes working on your, your personal business plan or future goals and endeavors. Yes. And that 20 minutes a day is only an hour, mm -hmm. bruh. Um, and I'm not trying to preach, but it's reality. Mm -hmm. But I want to try X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. Then it went from, nah, nah, nah. That's only a small part. Mm -hmm. When I start, as I, you know what I mean? Um, and this is just me, period. It was just, wow. And what I mean by wow, it was like, oh, no, nah, we're reading this. We're doing this. Mm -hmm. We're investing this. We're pushing that. We're talking to this. We're moving this. We're moving here. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, it's more than just a workout. But if you can see that small little, if you, that small little workout, mm -hmm. that made you, that made the horse healthy to run the race the next day. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's another, that's the very rudimentary thing. I can't, I can't be here. At least I don't feel it, and I don't mean to disrespect to nobody. <clears throat> my back hurting, my knees hurting, mm -hmm. joint issues, and we're still young. And I'm not mm -hmm. trying to play that, but we know people that probably experienced that at this point mm -hmm. in place and space. But it's that's reality. It's like where well, even that 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 back pain it mentally takes you away from. I don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, and I don't want to move. I don't want to work. I don't want to eat healthy, and you become in a mundane or a sedentary way. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to feel good when I got up to be able to move, to mm -hmm. be like, yo, I like the way I feel, yo. Like, I'm not saying I felt like a bad person when I was heavier or anything, but the reality, the reality of it is, what I was doing and what like you do and put into your body, mm -hmm. it's gonna resonate what you do and put into your life. Yeah. Um, that's a, it's very rudimentary. It might sound cliche, but it's it's facts. Mm -hmm. It's facts. Um. And I, it, it's, it's the, I started to recognize that too, making it more self-aware. Like, man, I'm eating this food and I feel this way. Mm -hmm. I ate this food and I feel this way. I ate this at this time and I felt this way the next morning at that time. I ate this at that time and I felt this way. So it was just paying attention. Mm -hmm. Paying attention and being aware of what I was doing to myself and what I want to do to myself and what I'm going to continue to do to myself. Mm -hmm. um, Physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, all that's going to resonate just to who I am. And that's going to just resonate into just life, man. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing I feel with Game 7 is a is another, is a very, very good one. It's just life. Mm -hmm. It's just life. And you guys do it at, and I know this as well, you do it at a very rudimentary level mm -hmm. with, the, with, the, with the babies. Mm -hmm. Learn who you are. Read. Knowledge. Eat right. Mm -hmm. 
understand your your attitude, self awareness. You know what I mean? Being happy with you, like everything might sound like I'm all over the place with this, but that's everything encompassed in life and in my journey. And I feel like that's what encompasses Game Seven because someone can sit, I can sit and ask you like. Oh man, tell me about your workout. You can tell me about your workout, but you're gonna go into a whole game plan of how you got so much more because it's all about knowledge. Yeah. And as a I, I, knowledge, mm -hmm. read, read, read. I've been reading, 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 taking up on certain people that you guys have put me on to, other people have put me on to. But by that virtue, it started from the aspect of me just wanting to be out, mm -hmm. me wanting to, and me wanting to receive knowledge. Mm -hmm. Me wanting to take it in, me wanting to grow. You can't not want to grow and stay in the same place. Mm -hmm. I had to get up out of a certain place to get to a next level. I'm gonna have to get up out of this place to get to a next level eventually. Mm -hmm. Near future, you know what I mean? Um, and I feel like it's levels to it. You know, it's levels to these things. Like I said, um, when you first asked me, we opened up. This has been an ongoing journey for life. Just because I wanted to be an athlete, um, clothes fit better all that good stuff mentally feel better even from guy to guys man like even the young ladies being attracted to us man it was like everything for all my life mm -hmm. and then at this point it's like oh applied uh, the pressure was really really applied mm -hmm. um and i myself even shocked myself mm -hmm. um but i'm more so shocking on myself as how i think mm -hmm. how i feel you know, uh, where I was and where I felt like in place and spaces, it, it, it felt like, oh, you wouldn't be in this place and space where I'm at today. But for me to stay consistent, consistency, fall short, pick it up the next day. You know what I mean? Fall short, pick it up the next day. You're going to succeed. You're going to succeed. You're going to succeed. Mm -hmm. you about to get knocked out, mm -hmm. but you got to keep picking up. You got to keep going. So that's all I kept taking from it, and that's, it's just it's just life, man. Mm -hmm. It's just really, really just life. Um, and I don't think we, we young men, have that kind of conversation sometimes. Um, but I see it more, and I don't mean to put quotes, but I, I don't see it that much in society. But I see <clears> it more within my circle of friends, and that that that's that's a that's another testament of like you got to surround yourself with the right people. Like you got that's everything like the environment like we're we're living organisms mm -hmm. we're we're animals we're we're cells you know what I mean so the environment in which we are put in is going to be how that cell and that organism adapt to it mm -hmm. you know what I mean um if you had a, a terrible situation with your nuclear family a a and what I mean by a that whole oh man that's my folk this that and the third no you got to remove yourself to the next one because what's the difference between a toxic boyfriend and girlfriend and a toxic mom and dad. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a difference. That's your nuclear mom and dad. That's a boyfriend and girlfriend, but it's yeah. still toxic. Yeah. So what's the difference? You got to remove yourself. So I had to, and I had to remove myself from and everything I'm speaking. These are things I've experienced in levels, and it's just very generic. Meaning relationships, family, finances, school, uh, uh, insecurities. Um, uh, one X Y Z. Everything everyone can identify with. That's what it was just wanting to elevate myself in all of those facets of life. Mm -hmm. I've seen like where I came from as a, with my nuclear family and it's like, oh, not where I want to be. Mm -hmm. For me, mm -hmm. make the change. Mm -hmm. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Make the changes right now. Don't hold any crutches. No, even even so much so with the school systems and stuff, man. You don't hold no crutches to that. Like, all right, if they didn't teach it to you, go find the knowledge. Mm -hmm. You didn't learn it, go find the knowledge. Mm -hmm. If you want it, go get the knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, It was just that go get an attitude that I really admire, like I said, with Game Seven and that consistency, that 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 accountability that a lot of us do not get. Um, and another thing with it too, um, accountability. You was you was making an effort to show, meaning if you're gonna be about it, make it known. That way we can hold you accountable for it, and you don't fall back, and you can keep progressing forward. And for myself. I was the kind of guy that stayed low key and was like, nah, I don't want to put myself out there, man, and and get on the 90 day wave and this, mm -hmm. that, and the third. I'm going to just stay low key, man, and that's just who I am. And I don't mean no, no harm, I don't mean no regrets, mm -hmm. but that accountability is what's like needed, but it's needed for yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't be looking for, and I, I, don't look for accountability from others for validation. Look for, for make the change. Mm -hmm make the change meaning you know what i mean like yo 
I remember, okay, one fine example. We know G. G held me accountable for it, yo, and he held me accountable to these standards. Mm -hmm. Meaning, and I didn't take it any offense. G, my brother, our brother, he said, yo, Mills, show up. Mm -hmm. If you get an invite, show up. Mm -hmm. I knew what that meant. I didn't take it any kind of disrespect because I was a self-aware of who I was, mm -hmm. what my man's meant by that. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yo, that's, a, that's, that's accountability. Mm -hmm. Make the change. Yeah. Do things different. Mm -hmm. So you'll see why I might have texted you. So yeah. just to make the yeah. changes. Small little things, you know what I mean? And I try to do that daily. And I, like, I'm going to bring it all back to it. Yo, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I just want to do more in life. Mm -hmm. Want to do better. You expect more, yo. You expect more from yourself, like each time, or at least I do, I'm expecting more from myself each time I go up. Mm -hmm. I was uh, talking to um, Kendall when we was at IG house. Um, and it was like, it makes you want to do more, don't it? Like you can, you can do more, you, you want to you wanna keep getting it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, man, it's like, mm -hmm. it's like an addiction. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I just want to keep going, like keep staying physical. Keep being active, keep being involved, keep being focused, like mm -hmm. keep being focused. Mm -hmm. That's the addiction mm -hmm. to keep being focused. That mm -hmm. little bit of, oh, I fell off a little bit. I don't like the way that feel. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like myself no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or I don't feel like what I what I'm what I'm what I'm attracting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and through this addiction, I'm looking for the release of serotonin, the mm -hmm. overlong and lasting, everlasting feeling of joy versus like dopamine and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, that's what I'm looking for, like to keep feeling good about myself, man. Like mm -hmm. it feels good, yo, mm -hmm. to, to just be focused, man. Even so much so, uh, KP uh, uh, had, a, um, had a post. Um, every man, bruh, this joint hit the nail on the head. Yeah, Every yeah. man at a point, not verbatim, every point in place and space in his life should be where he isn't dating anyone. Mm -hmm. He ain't talking to no one. Mm -hmm. He's not messing around. Mm -hmm. He's not playing games. He's focused on his money, mm -hmm. his health, his career, mm -hmm. his business. Like the, the post that every man should have a period in his life where he's building his foundation. No dating, no games, no excuses. No distractions. Just pure dedicated focus on his health, his business, and his finances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It all it comes back. Like everything is it's, it's just it's just all coming back to each other, man. Like from the the health, the family, the the work, the career. What you want out of your life? Mm -hmm. What you want for yourself? Mm -hmm. What I want for myself. You know, like you know what you want for yourself, mm -hmm. KP, Kendall, me, Gall, Just, Ray, mm -hmm. y'all know. You know what you want, you know what I mean? You became self-aware of yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's, the, that's, that's just the object, like understanding and staying focused on who I am. It's very selfish, but I'm okay mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. I can't be, if I'm not selfish enough to love myself, I can't, I can't exude love. Mm -hmm. You can't, it's rudimentary, man. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't, I just, I can't, I can't want to have a family and be there and be in that place and space when you don't want to take care of yourself mm -hmm. get your demons out the way get mm -hmm. your emotions in line get mm -hmm. your spiritual spirituality together mm -hmm. i refuse to man you know what i mean like come on fellas and i'm pretty sure the same way with you future uh me kp whatever the case may be with our young men they're gonna eat and do what we do as we can see yeah, yeah. That's if I'm eating slop all day and stuff and putting bad stuff and poison into my body and that's what I read, what I watch, mm -hmm. what I'm listening to, what I surround myself with, mm -hmm. my lineage is going to suffer the same way. Mm -hmm. um, my career is the same way. If you don't apply that pressure, you don't take the necessary steps that need to be taken, um, you won't and I wouldn't be able to get to that place and space and where I'm supposed to be and where I'm looking to be at. Like it just takes that that dedication and that focus and that's where I'm ultimately at and that's why I want to remain you know like mm -hmm. and throughout this process man like the feeling the feeling the feeling the feeling man it feels good man and game seven has just been right on time with everything man just with the knowledge the knowledge the knowledge the knowledge the knowledge mm -hmm. the the dedication mm -hmm. dedication showing man like just do mm -hmm. just do it mm -hmm.
just get just get to the work, man. Mm-hmm. I remember you had a chit chat with me. Um, no, it felt personal. It wasn't even a chit chat. You did a post okay. about how you had a setback um, in regards to to, to your uh, your work. Mm-hmm. But just how like you just got to keep pushing. It's rudimentary and it sounds cliche, but it's like yo, you got to keep pushing. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep going. 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 So for me, it's just like, man, I just had to keep going, but I had to keep going effectively, man. I couldn't. You can't keep going in a circle. Can't keep going like feet in the same space. I gotta make steps. You gotta make forward steps. You know what I mean? Steps. You know what I mean? Could be a lunge. It could be a shuffle. Back pedal. Sprint. Uh, trot, whatever you want to call it, man. Mm-hmm. North and south. North and south, man. Just keep going forward, yo. Like, and that's that's one of the biggest things I'm I'm focused on right now, man. That's just blocking everything out, man. So, what you might have seen or what folks might see mm-hmm. is just only basically what no one does see the process, yeah. the work. Yeah. Late nights, late hours, tired, tears, mm-hmm. fears, mm-hmm. Uh, um, worries. Joy, compliments, um, arrogancy. You know what I mean? No one sees all of this and everything that goes into it. Mm-hmm. No one should. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And ultimately, I want to keep bringing it back. I want to keep bringing it back. It's not for a look. It's not for a show. Mm-hmm. It's all for a feeling. Mm-hmm. And when you feel good, you play good, yo. Mm-hmm. And it's life, man. Like, it's life, bro. It's just life, man. I just want to just just keep feeling good and just keep living good, man. Mm-hmm. And that's the reality of it. Like I said, it's not like I didn't. Forget that. It wasn't as if it was a a bad thing who I was, but it was just yo like I didn't appreciate or what was I, what I was doing wasn't going to be effective for me in my future. Mm-hmm. Let me say it like that: mm-hmm. what I was doing was would not be effective for me in my future. So I had to make some changes and I had to make them quickly because life doesn't life just you gotta life gonna keep going. Mm-hmm. Everything, every aspect. Um, so you just gotta make the changes and adapt quickly. Um, mm-hmm thing I get embedded into my mind now that I, like I said, I admire about game seven is, and uh, nephew, be, you be having a nephew on it, um, we stay ready. Yeah. We stay ready. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, we, 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 we stay ready. And that's that's very rudimentary. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's very it's very basic. You know what I mean? You don't want to be, pre- you want to be prepared when that moment comes instead of, you know, trying to get yourself prepared. That's, that's very basic, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and and that's just that's just where I'm at, like financially, physically, mentally, as far as my family, um, everything, man, mm-hmm. everything. Great, great response, man. Uh, great, I can wrap you up, man. Great, I can wrap, man. I ain't mean response. to. While you were talking, yeah, I wrote down um, some good points that okay. you, that you made. So I'm gonna say them, and KP gonna put them on the screen so they can pick up things, right? All up. But All what up. I'm what I'm gonna tell you first is. Clearly, you got out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. But, like, just what I see now, like, as you said that, I can see, like, that being the background to your videos and pictures of your process. Mm-hmm. Like, when you first committed to that. Yeah. And not that it mean much, but I think that would be powerful. Like, watching Mills before the light went off yeah. go through the process as you just now explained how you did it yeah i don't know how you feel about that no no, no. but i think that would have been pretty dope you know like that was like background audio for yeah, like yeah, one of yeah, the little yeah. workout videos in the morning you know so that that was pretty powerful so the first thing you said change how you felt uh, i think that's dope because i don't know the numbers but an extremely high percentage and we'll just stick to americans are unhappy people, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like even successful people. Just because you're successful don't mean you're happy. Yeah. So many people are not happy, and it's not a good feeling. But they just choose to drink it away, smoke it away, hug it internally for forever, or start to lash out on people, and they never make it a priority to do what they got to do to change how they feel. But once it becomes important enough, because the feeling never goes away. Mm-hmm. You know, but once it comes important enough to you, I gotta, I gotta change this. You know, so in order to change how I feel, I gotta change what I do, because you can't just change your feelings, right? So number one, change how you felt. Number two, simple. I never really thought about this. 
look good, feel good, play good. Hey. I always thought about it like from the football aspect. You know, yeah, you in yeah. warm ups. Yeah. You see, yo, number two, he got yeah. the wristbands. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, dark yeah. Visor. The visor. He's oh, fanning yeah. up. He's yeah. sweet. He got the monster <laughs> Dickinson with the tape <laughs> right. on it exactly. and everything, bro. Like nine times out of ten, he's sweet. He's Every sweet. now and yeah. then, he'll get the one who overdressed and he trash. Right? But nine times out of ten, you know, he's sweet. Right? And that's kind of like, um, like people's standards. Tony Robbins always has people stand up in the crowd. So he'd be like, if you work out one day a week, stand up. If you work out two days a week, stand mm-hmm. up. Number one, one day a week, everybody's standing up. Two days a week, a little mm-hmm. less. Mm-hmm. Three days a week, but you get to the people that, that go seven days a week, you already know. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I don't believe that people, personal thing, I don't believe you can be mentally healthy if you're not physically healthy. Yeah. Because in order to be physically healthy at the highest level, in order to be physically healthy at the highest level, it ain't nothing but mental. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to get up and go to the gym or go downstairs or go for your walk, wherever your physical activity is going to be. That's mental. We can all walk. If you're in a wheelchair, you can roll. If you if you all the way messed up, you get your personal assistant, whatever you got, unless you just bedridden. If you're bedridden, you got to get how you live, right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if you can move, that's just mental. Once you get there, you just go to your level. If you can only run half a mile, you got a half a mile. Then you got another one tomorrow. Yeah. Then three quarters and then one. Right? Whatever the case may be. So you just got to... I'm going to take con- notes myself. Okay? You got to continue to go. But then you start to look good. Right? And I, I tell my girl all the time, you know, so many people have no clue how they really look. Because it's underneath. Like, you have no fucking clue. You got no clue. It's like we all a block. Right, we just a, a block of stone, and it's on us to like you know the, the people that uh what yeah they call? yeah I like that yeah what the people um, call it? that chip away um, um the stone um, not engineer sculptors sculpture sculptors, right sculptors. we all sculpture mm-hmm. right and we gotta chip away right and then under that you fuck around and see the dinosaur right mm-hmm. but you had to you got the shell off all right but that next level like oh my tool don't work no more. You might have to change your mm-hmm. tool. You might have to get a different hammer. Mm-hmm. You might have to get your man to come get your back shoulder that you can't reach, right? It's a process. But so many people never get under all that stuff to see what they really look like. But then once you can get there, and the changes are different. Like I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. I'm assuming you are too. Mm-hmm. But the change, like from start to current day, looks totally different for you than yeah. it was for me, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, but we know like this is the best we can be today mm-hmm. after we made this commitment to ourselves. But right, like you said, I, that was actually one of my other questions. How have things changed for the people around you that you became this better you? Like I've all, back in the day when we used to work out at Goals in Southwest, uh, especially me and Ray, used to be this dude, big, he was really big, big dude like this orange hair, like carrot top, right? He took, he was on the Stairmaster. Every day, dog. Mm-hmm. Every day, every mm-hmm. day, big as hell, and some happened. I don't know what. We didn't go to the gym for a while, like a long time. Uh, I can't remember. We were still working out, but we weren't going to that one. But came back, and I'm in the locker room. I just keep looking at this dude. I'm like, why do I know him? Looks man? familiar, yeah, but yeah, I'm like, why I couldn't figure out who he was. Like, why do I know him? And he just started laughing, like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> like, what do you mean? He's like stairmaster. I was like, yo, he lost like two hundred. Yeah, like, I could, I couldn't even figure out yeah. who he was, yo. But he was telling me, he's like, yo, my family treats me differently. Uh, I left my girlfriend, right, because I became too much for her. Like, and so many other girls started coming, and I had to really start to be like, yo, was I with her just because I was so low mm. that my standards mm. and what really makes me feel good had a capacity on it too. And I didn't go through that process y'all talked about to just fully immerse myself in it and find out who I really am. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's like my thing. I think a lot of dudes want this woman. Yeah. All dudes probably want this woman. Mm-hmm. Right. But you got to be this man to get that woman or to get the woman who could help you get there. She's not going to be willing to get there because you're not at the best you can be on your own. There you go. Man. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So just that whole process, you know, so but a lot of things come with looking good. But then, and like uh, an issue I have, like I would just upgrade that. Look great, feel great, play great. Because mm-hmm. good is cool. Like good to get you to the league. Yeah. Like yeah. Kendall would say, that's what fucked him up. He was good. But once he made it there, he was good. I'm here now. I can start doing what I do or start doing what I see all these other people doing. Right? But he didn't decide to be great. Mm-hmm. 
You know, he was looking good, he feeling good, he played good, but that's not good enough when you in the league with greats. Oh, or I can't put this food down. I can't do. I stop eating chicken, beef, and all that. Yo, I see my best friend dad die and learned a lot about food. That's all it took. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's all it took. Mm -hmm. And I love myself. And and I, I that's a whole nother topic. I think people overuse love. But if you're not giving it all you got, you don't love. You just really like. If you're not giving your girl all you got, you don't love her. Yeah, yeah. Your parents not giving you all they got, they don't love you. They just really, really fucking like you. Yeah. Right. But if you love yourself. You're going to get everything you got out of it, right? But that's that's the second mm -hmm. one. Look good, feel good, play good. I'm going through all of the, the gems, he said. The, the next one, I say this all the time. You would just focus on the process, not the results. Mm -hmm. You know, because once you be, be engaged in the process, something I learned, you become blissfully dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, imagine it's, all, it's chairs, but it's me, 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 me. It's all me. Mm -hmm. So it's like, as soon as I get to the next one, I got to get to that one. As soon as I get to that one, God gets to the next one. Yeah, I got you. One, right? So it's cool, but a lot of people are like, yo, I'm good, but how come you don't see me like this? Or I I'm I can't be this person that you don't want me to be. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is the person that you are. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, just yeah. not getting once again, it goes back to that sculpture shit. Go get it. That's because I do fuck with you. That's because mm -hmm. I do love you. Mm -hmm. If I didn't think you could do it, cool. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let you stay there. But I'm gonna continue to play musical chairs. You feel me? But I'm twenty nine, like I, I got a whole bunch of life left. Yeah. You feel me? And like now that I, I have this outlook on life, it's like I'm so disappointed in my previous 28 years. Yeah, you know? yeah, understood. Like understood. very disappointed. Yeah. Like I've been successful and shit to get here, but there's a lot of time I left on the table. Yeah, like yeah. Playing too many video games, wasting too many times with people. To sound crazy coming from me, spending too much time on school shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? There's a lot of shit that was just wasted time. Understood, yeah. And right, how much of a better athlete could I have been? How much of a better student when it mattered could I have been? How much of a better everything could I have been and how different would that have made me? But that goes into another thing. In our circle, we don't really got nobody to teach that shit. Mm -hmm. Like we our own OGs. Everybody above yeah. us, yeah, I age wise it. I and get like yeah. role yeah. wise, yeah. ain't nothing they can really offer us. Yeah. And the people that really can, like we got like professional relationships with them, and they wouldn't really kind of click with us as just our average people. But we ain't got no OGs. Mm -hmm. You know, especially like me. No disrespect yeah. to nobody. Yeah. It's been like me and Jess like figuring this shit out on our own, yeah. I get it. And the people who've guided us here, we passed them long ago. Like no disrespect, but if they can't take it, that's probably the reason why they've been passed. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's just so like we don't got like all this money shit we learning, we learning on our own. Mm -hmm. All this tax shit we learning, we learning on our own. All this work ethic shit we learning, we learn. That's one of the biggest things to me. People always say hard work. But the people who've been preaching that to us, they don't work hard. I can look at you and tell mm -hmm. you don't work hard, yo. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And everybody got different paths. But if you at this age, in this situation, with this amount of something, something speaks for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if there was some catastrophe that made you get there, we would know that. Mm -hmm. At least the people that we know in our circle. Mm -hmm. Right? So I can't, I'm, I can't really take nothing from you because you ain't work hard. Mm -hmm. You feel me? To at least be at a level that we at, you know? And we ain't rich, we ain't great, we ain't all this kind of stuff, but we able to hold our own. Yeah. You feel me? Yes, so yeah. sometimes it's like... A lot of people just been, like we've been taught a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. like we've been given the titles of the chapter, mm -hmm. like this chapter one, work hard, this chapter two, go to school, this chapter three, get a job. But all of the shit under that, that takes to maximize out the title of that chapter, we don't really have that kind of stuff. Um, so process, not results. Uh, another one you said, public proclamation. Mm -hmm. That's that's a dope one. Yeah. Like you say, y'all know me before like this year. You never saw me put a picture on Instagram, Facebook. You never was going to see Shorty on there. You never was going to see my girl on there. You was never going to see none of that. Yeah. But just as I made this commitment, I learned, and I kind of like trying to find a way to separate myself. When we do get to the level that we're shooting for, we're going to be able to show. Yeah. Oh, we was here uh, on Sunday morning, early in the morning. With my son, yeah. no excuses. Yeah. Got a girlfriend, no excuses. Y'all yeah. got y'all situation, no excuses. Mm -hmm. Work out every day, it's all posted. I kind of fell back off of the, the IG a little bit because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even know I'm working on a way to monetize the mm -hmm. skills that I gained on that. Yeah. So I'm doing it in a different way, but I'm just stockpiling it so that I can do what I'm trying to, I can do what I'm trying to do with it. And like I was telling you, 
Like, damn, that's an L right now that you had such a beautiful statement, but you had no visuals to accompany it in 2019 when you know everybody watching. Everybody watching. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the people who seek it gonna find it. But yo, do you know them joints go viral. Mills 2016, Mills 2019. What the fuck did he do? Well, this is what I did. They can hear you, yo, but when they see it, it's very different. It's very different. And I see my man, he, he, uh, he cool, like we cool. We ain't got no, we ain't enemies, but we managed from like growing up. Mm -hmm. So we ain't even really spoken in a long time. But he's huge, he gotta be like four or something. He's very, very big. Uh, but now, just this past couple of weeks, he's on Facebook every day, walking, working out, talking. Yeah, yeah. I make sure I comment on every single one of them bitches. Keep going. I see, yeah. Nobody yeah, yeah. else is doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, yo, cause I know, I really learned that from you. Cause I was really like, I was trying to figure out, because I kind of got like overwhelmed mm -hmm. with everything I was doing. I like, yo, I might have to fall back off the ground. But then you came downstairs. He was like, yo, just watching y'all really was a source for this new fire. Absolutely. I was like, all right, fuck it. I got Absolutely. I got to keep doing it, you know, because it's really not about me. And like I said, all that stuff wasn't for other people. It was me learning to put myself out there, mm. me maximizing my schedule. Like, yo, if I don't got nothing to do, I can start dominating on the ground. And like people, I, I make them things like from scratch. Yeah. I don't find them like the yeah, pictures I yeah, kind of yeah, but yeah, you know yeah, the yeah. ones I make, mm -hmm. the videos obviously I make. Mm -hmm. that, that takes that takes a lot of time, you know, a lot of time. Uh, so public proclamation and like it gives you pressure. Yeah. Like people be nervous about pressure. You feel me? But pressure has such a negative, has such negative connotations. But pressure is great for great people. You know, like peer pressure, that's bad. No, what you, we're here today because we was giving you peer pressure. Yeah. This in the positive direction. In the positive direction, I get And it. everybody know me. If you don't fuck with me unless you went to positive peer pressure, mm -hmm. that's why I don't, I don't talk to niggas no more. Mm -hmm. You feel like, I'm just, yo, do it. What's up? You, I'll be there. Like KP, the perfect one. I do everything for myself. Yeah. But anything I ask for something, I'm there with you, yeah? You go to the nigga house 12 hours on a Sunday with Nas. Go to the grocery store. Do everything I got to do. No excuses. Then go to work. Come on. Do what I got to do. It's, nobody put more pressure on me than myself. And I know it's a lot because I see how other people react to it. Like everybody feels a kind of way. You feel me? The one person in my mind that kind of like tastes it like perfectly uh, and like levels, I would say Josh is first. Uh, Kendall's great with it. KP is great with it. Otherwise, I kind of, I, I don't really go all the way because I know. I know how it go. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, you'll let me know when you're ready for me to be myself. Mm -hmm. And I ain't perfect, but I mean, we got the evidence. I can help you get results. I may not know how, mm -hmm. but I can help you get the process, like mm -hmm. the effort, the amount of times, the, the time, with food. I can help you do all that. All that shit you got to do on your own. But in terms of having a schedule to make it happen, fuck with me. I, I, I got you. And you didn't say it in these words. This is the next one, KP. You need to, when you'll get it. When you start to want what you need and stop needing what you want. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. get it when you start to want what you need and stop needing what you want. Right? It's been times I wanted chicken and shit. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. been times I wanted and I parties and all that everybody else eating. I have zero interest because I want what I need. Right? I see I see my man pops die like fifty. Yeah. Primarily because of the fuel he was putting in. And I'm not a civic, I'm a fucking jet. I can't take 87. I can't take 89. I can't even take diesel. The shit gotta be shipped. I need I need jet fuel. Yeah. Right? So yeah. all y'all yeah, yeah, drinking y'all yeah. civic shit. Yeah. yeah. It looks sloppy as shit at the swimming pool. I get you, yeah. Right? Or you single when you're not at your peak, or even in your relationship and you're falling off because you're not at, at your peak for the things you can control, that's because you're still needing what you want. You feel me? You're not wanting what you need. And so many people, we know what we need. I think we're here today, and I don't think you quite got it. Now, you answered my question beautifully, but you ain't answered my question. Mm -hmm. Right? So, knee, I'm going to stick to knee. Knowledge, K N, exposure, see it, whatever, execute. K N E E. The execute is where people fuck up. Like, we all know. <laughs> Everybody know what they need to do. Mm -hmm. At least step one. Yeah. At least step one. Right? You exposed to it. Go on your phone. Everything in the world is on your phone. YouTube, yeah, Wikipedia, Google, X, Y, Z. How do I lose weight? How do I start an LLC? What's the benefits of an LLC versus a corporation or vice versa? Or how do I do a nonprofit? How do I build a fucking home? Like everything is on there. Everything is on there. Yeah. Right? Age of technology. All right, boom. Then you expose yourself to it. Yo, let me go talk to a realtor. Let me go talk to a videographer. 
then they give you the shit to do and then you don't want to do it. Because all you see is the video. Yeah. You don't yeah. see that you had to hustle up the bread to get the camera. You don't see that the first camera was weak, you got to get a second one. You don't see that you just can't hold it and you got to get a stabilizer. Mm -hmm. You don't see that a stabilizer is not just a stabilizer. You don't see that you have to get another one. Mm -hmm. You don't see that you have to get lights. You don't see that you have to get another light. You don't see that the battery is weak as shit. You need like 10 just for a two hour interview. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You don't see that you need a fucking traveling kit. All you see is the video. Yeah. But then all that other shit, I'm like, damn, I got to do that. <laughs> you know, how important is it to you? So then that's when the execute part comes and people start to fall off. Right? I got to do all this shit that I don't want to do to get yeah. to what I want to do. I'd rather just stay here because I know what this feel like. It's unhappy. But if, I, but if I'm going to be unhappy plus all this, I'm going to just cool out. Not realizing, like, yo, you can be not happy and it's fine. You feel me? That's heavy shit. But strong people lift heavy shit with ease. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Easily. Mm -hmm. All right, so today, like you said, oh, I got 20 things. I got, that's three-week project. That's one a day and one break. All right, so today I'm going to just print out the LLC directions. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I'm going to read them hoes. All right? Third, I see I'm falling off. I'm going to start a group chat with my homies for niggas that can hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. Yo, fourth, let's all link up and somebody help me. Yo, Malcolm Justice, I said, y'all got that. Boom. You, I'm going to put the press on you. You said you was going to help me. What's up? This weekend? Oh, I can't do this weekend, but we got it on Tuesday. Boom, done. You feel me? Then yeah, adjust. Yeah. It just once it becomes a process, and like you, for me, and like it was kind of, I, I fully immersed myself. Like, Y'all know me, sports music. I love it. For like four months, I stopped music. I don't listen to every fucking YouTube, every ET, every Tony Robbins, every Ed Milet, every John Maxwell, every fucking thing you can listen to. I don't listen to it. And I got like fifty pages of just notes. Mm -hmm. Is what you're doing now effective for your future? Is what you're doing now effective for your future? Uh, I think that's self-explanatory, but just some people yeah. don't do it. It's like we wait for too late. Like something that bothered me this year was, was when Nipsey Hussle died. Yo, people went ham, went ham on the internet when he died. Streaming and everything. And I got zero. I got negative one million disrespect for Nipsey. He cool. This ain't about him. But all of the people that kept posting about him... Yo, you're not doing what he said. Mm -hmm. Don't give this man his flowers when he died. If you appreciated him so much, you don't got to put it out there. Yo, but he gave us a lot of morals, values, principles, rules, and instructions for things to do and not to do. Mm -hmm. Like, when people don't talk about what they know, if, if you do your research, like his brother told me, yo, fall back off that hood stuff. Stop coming up here without security. You don't got to do this, right? But he was so stuck in his roots, which made him a man of the people in love, that caught up to him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But that's 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 the kind of when you get to that position, the kind of battle you gotta take. Like ASAP Rocky, that's another one. Hands off. You got a six, seven, four hundred pound bodyguard. Let him do the work. He take the L. That he probably got a license or some kind mm -hmm, of thing to mm -hmm, be physical. Mm -hmm. What you fighting for? You feel me? Once you hit a level, you gotta uh, you gotta watch out for yourself. You know. But um, for and that's like the food. If you eating bullshit, you're not looking out for your future. If you a parent, like a lot of parents stop and commit everything to their kids, that's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Because you're yeah, not looking yeah, out for their future. They yeah. don't need nothing now but to yeah, eat, yeah. a couple outfits, go to Walmart, wave if you want the feet to be sweet, or right, get them some nice name brand mm -hmm. sneakers or something. But otherwise, hit the Walmart. Sign them up for something, $100. Otherwise, he, don't, he or she don't need nothing. No. You need to continue to work on you so that when they become like us, they don't gotta be like that's why our parents can't give us shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like besides love, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But I need help. <laughs> and you can't help me. I get it. Right? Yeah. Cause you stopped yeah. and did everything. Maybe we shouldn't have played football every season. We wouldn't have liked it. <laughs> right? Yeah, but you no, had I to do overtime. Or you had to go to school. Or you had to do something and then you would have figured something out. Or we could have got a ride from the coach. Or we could have walked mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something like that. You know, so that later, yo, we had to, we got this business for you. Like they say what the white people do, but that successful people do, not just white people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yo, out here, you can do this. Or when you go to college, you don't got to be tripping. I'm just getting a degree so that when my I put my pop's company name on my resume, I got something to stand behind it. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at this. I'm not going to college for school. I'm going to, to be a leader. Yeah. Or I'm going to finesse these dudes. Every every month, my pop's dropping me two stacks, and it's my responsibility to flip it to three. Mm. And if I don't, next month, I'm not getting to. Mm. I might get mm. 12. Mm. If that number get to zero, I'm not getting it back. 
You feel me? Like those kind of yeah. You feel me? Simple yeah. shit that we just not able to do because everything was committed to us or just committed to their own personal comfort instead of continuing to go. Like that's be another that be another thing that frustrated me with with my friends and family and shit. Number one, y'all tell me because I could be wrong. But like if you don't got no kids. No excuse. No excuse. No excuse. No excuse. You, know? excuse. you have no zero excuse. obligations. No excuse. Right? If you're in a relationship, she should be rocking with you. You feel me? You got to do your part 100%. Yeah. But if she's holding you back from being the man that you're supposed to be, she got to go. Yeah, you got to go. Early relationship, middle relationship, wife, married, separated, whatever the context is, don't matter. If you don't got kids, you got unlimited time. I don't give a fuck if you're working 80 hours a week. Yeah. That means you better be caking and have a financial plan, right? And have a, an escape route to get out of that. But otherwise, you'll come on and do what you gotta do, right? Or even if you're in like, oh, I don't know. I just don't take, I just don't take excuses. Mm-hmm. You know, there are reasons sometimes, but they're just not excuses. But those are the pillars. So, do you feel that people look at you differently now? Is it is there like a different vibe around people? Yep. You talking about like, a, well, it's a it's a complete different vibe for everybody. Um, from what I take in, mm-hmm. um, funny thing is, from everybody or for everybody, like a different vibe people got when they come around you, or you feel different. I feel different taking it in. Okay, but at the same time, like I said, it goes back to the thing. I, I might be resonating some kind of self love, same way you might have, you might have, so on and so forth. And it's just like that goes to like the laws of attraction, sort mm-hmm. of kind. Of. Um, and I don't mean it in a, I'm not in a negative way at all but it's just yeah. an awareness and yeah. one of the things I noticed is it's funny but people were are more uh, apt to telling me how fat I was or how large I was now that I'm a smaller frame uh, smaller frame guy than I was before yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, whereas when I was larger mm-hmm. what, the, what was y'all at before That's to hold me accountable mm-hmm. big boy mm-hmm. I mean I don't give a care who you are. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not sort of kind of soft-hearted, meaning like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, fat jokes, all that good stuff mm-hmm. means nothing to me. Mm-hmm. Health jokes, you need to be really like, all right, you cracking these jokes, but mm-hmm. I'm dead serious, bro. Like, if you my folks or whoever the case may be, but at the same time, and let me stay on track with the question. Um, that's one of the things I noticed that people will be more apt to, and I'm like, are you more comfortable with with telling me this because? you're comfortable with it Mm. um because i've had people say oh um i'm sorry i didn't mean to be rude or i didn't i didn't i didn't want to be disrespectful um and i just said that's like i'm not offended Mm. but were you comfortable enough at this point to say it because i seem more physically fit enough to take the comp i mean the comment Mm -hmm. um so that that's the only that's that's a funny one to me um but then and when people don't recognize me, um, yeah. that's a that's another one that sort of kind of hits me, mm-hmm. and it hits me because it's in a. Um, well, what do you see, yeah. and what did you see, mm-hmm. and what am I presenting? Like you know, what I mean, what what am I presenting now to you that you might see like that I wasn't presenting before? Mm-hmm. Like, so the kind of all types of little questions tick through my head. Um, mm-hmm. We could all be going the same way. Like, man, I wasn't feeling great. So I wasn't looking great. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't exuding greatness. Mm -hmm. So you don't attract greatness if you're not exuding it. So I mean, Mm -hmm. maybe that might have been the place and space where I was at where that's what I was attracting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, And yeah, you did speak about that. Um, But I do notice that it takes me, it took, it's taken me some time to recognize it. Even, even, even only thing that's making my mind change, i.e., on regards to just the weight loss, just the weight loss, um, is my clothes. Mm-hmm. But that's like physicality. The way I feel and the way things are changing and molding in my life, that's the sheer results. But when people see me and I first interact with people uh, who haven't seen me in a while or who know me and have known me, mm-hmm. it's like, oh man, I didn't even recognize you. Um, I'm a little taken back. It's like, well, like I said, what am I giving off? What do you see? What is here before you? What was here before you? Mm-hmm. Um, just that quick little second, but then at the same time, I was like, all right, well, this is who I am now. Mm-hmm. This is this is Daquan. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not a, 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 it's not a change for the worse, but it's a change. You know what I mean? You got to change. You got to grow. You got to elevate. Mm-hmm. Um, and by the way I 
I notice for myself, my interactions with people are humbling because now friends, families who know me and who have known me as larger frame Daquan or Mills will see me and be like, oh, you know what I mean? You lost all this weight. So it's me. It's like, in my mind, I'm still Mills, bro. Mm -hmm. Humble, cool, jovial. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're all trying to grow and elevate. You know what I mean? I might be a little bit more mature and sense in my conversation, but mm -hmm. I'm still Mills. Like, I'm no different. I'm not about to be this whole, you shouldn't eat that, mm -hmm. or I don't, da da da, or I'm this, I'm that. I'm in love with myself. Yeah. <clears throat> so I can do whatever I want, I can eat whatever I want, and I can say that with respect and with regards. Mm -hmm. um, that's another thing with Game 7 and, and all of this just to play, just how I interact with people and how I interact with people and how I allow people to interact with me and it also goes to how I set boundaries mm -hmm. with myself and with people. So by setting boundaries with myself and with people, I, those relationships and those interactions, I become more in control mm -hmm. and by being in control, I'm in a more comfortable state is what I'm trying to say is what I'm trying to I'm trying to say like me now is this is how I feel this is straight up and down versus sugarcoating it versus not having that conversation versus not having that phone call or something me now and just the way I feel and what I'm doing in life and the change is just do it now mm -hmm. have that conversation now mm -hmm. say no now Mm -hmm. Say yes now. Stick to your yes now. Mm -hmm. Hold yourself accountable. If you're going to show up, show up. If you're not, you're not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, don't go back and forth with yourself because then you're going to go back and forth with people. Mm -hmm. So the changes that I made, is it goes back to, like I said, everything is about me. So that's being, like, accountable, mm -hmm. being decisive, um, setting that tone, setting boundaries. Um, what I'm going to tolerate, what I'm not going to tolerate. You know what I mean? Being aware of myself and the things that I might have created or what I might create and so as not to create those things in my future and in relationships, interactions, whatever the case may be. But for me, it hasn't been, it's been, an em not an emotional, but it's just been like different and mixed reviews mm -hmm. um, from my standpoint because it's like I, I, I don't recognize you, you don't look the same, but And I think that's me overthinking it because I'm like, well, what are you saying? Because I don't go into the conversation. This is me really coming. I don't go into the conversation like, well, how do I look? Yeah, yeah. Do I look good? Do I look bad? I don't need that Man, validation. Well, I, I can tell you, like, you look different. I look different. <laughs> like, I did not know who you was. Yo. And that's, I, I saw you this morning. You walked up. He night, said that. The second time I had seen yeah. you. Yeah. I was just like, damn. He's smaller than I even thought. I was thought. like, I didn't even recognize yeah, yo, it's But just, it was just kind of like a... I'm so used to seeing Mills, yeah. bigger Mills, yeah, yeah, physically yeah. bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of like we, we turn around the corner, it's like, look at your face, it's like, oh shit, it's Mills. Yeah, it's like you got to look at <laughs> <in> my face <laughs> to see it's me. Yeah, oh, what's that, up, but that's like a lesson for you. Like, the previous you was the image of yourself yeah. that you chose from the choices you can make that you chose to give up. Yeah. But now you change the lens, and now everybody else see you through a dis different lens. Yeah. All right? Because even I said, same thing, like, damn, Mills is, I'm looking at your shoulders. Yeah. Like, damn, like, more boxing instead yeah. of like circular yeah. and shit, right? Yeah. So that's just what they, it's just, yeah. it's not what they saw before, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, uh, But that's a good, like, you you get praise in public for what you do in private. Yeah, so that, that's yeah, all. yeah. And it's just a shock. Like, whoa, what the, it's like the Browns. Like, they was ass and, whoa, they, they good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're so used to them being trash. You're so used to them being trash, right? So now they kind of like you, and you right, so here guy? now. Y'all yeah. got the frame. Yeah. Y'all got the roster. Yeah, yeah. You got the young talent. Now how you gonna act? How you gonna act? You feel me? Now you now you yeah. in the league. So yeah. it's just people seeing how you change your personal roster, how you made these additions and you made these subtractions, and now you have this. Yeah. But that's it. I don't think it's nothing. I don't think it's rocket. You just don't look the same. Yeah. Like yeah. This. Well, that was just and uh, it's very different. And that's the. It's just after a while because like it. Honestly, it took it, it it took fast for me too because it hit like just the weight loss mm -hmm. because I was just doing it. Mm -hmm. I was just doing it. I was just doing it. I was just doing it. And I was eating, drinking, working out, reading, mm -hmm. writing, meditating, everything played a factor until one day it was just like holy, I can fit these pants? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can fit this shirt? Yeah, yeah. 
Nah, these joints run. These joints run big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these joints run big, man. Nah, duh, these joints. This is a different material, though. Let me see. Hold up, hold up. Nah, this joint don't. Oh, you know what I mean? They need some work pants, man. These joints ain't. So I go and I, you know what I mean? It's like, oh. Yo, like. It's a 42. It's a 42. Like, yo, like. This is. Shocking yourself. Like, oh, snap. But at the same time, I'm not. I had one review that uh, uh, somebody was like, um, yeah, you're losing weight too fast, you that in the third. And I was just like, I feel good though, yo. I'm not, I don't care if I go to Dale tomorrow, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I feel good, man. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I'm gonna just go on that wave, man. Like, mm-hmm. I feel good every day, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I feel good, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying off of, I don't have bad days, whatever the case may be, but I just feel good physically. Like, working out, my mind, my body, my joints, everything. Mm-hmm. Like, I just feel physically, good and I feel like I'm just there and I'm gonna let BL tell y'all this but BL and I uh he started a little saying for me um but it goes right to that which you were just speaking of where it's things are starting to basically like shape up or for lack of better words I'm attracting certain people that I would have never attracted before so that in a relationship and interaction point is like yeah yeah are you fucking with me mm-hmm. like stop playing Sat and chopped it up with Blake. Blake is like, Mills, what are you like, bro? Like, stop <laughs> overthinking. I'm like, but bro, like. He do me just like that, too. <laughs> like, what do you, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm just like, man, I, I don't, I've never, this person have never spoke to me before. Mm-hmm. Like, he'll, and he started, like, I'll let him tell you to say it, but it's like, mm-hmm. yo, like, Mills, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Like, you're here now, do something mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. I'm going through all these different changing things in my head. Um, mm-hmm. So that's that's another thing, I, and like a lot of like a lot of the stuff that I'm working on, or that I'm speaking about relationship wise and interaction with people stuff that I have to work on because I have, I'm a, I'm adapting to, I guess their 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 response to me, mm-hmm. physically, mm-hmm. Um, because it's like these with this when I walked in before, wasn't like oh yeah. You're looking less boxy and more roundy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got bigger. <laughs> right, you're total opposite. You know, uh, <laughs> and it's like I feel like I like, like oh I look healthier. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, uh, y'all was saying like man, you look like you're going. I'm like nah, bro. I'm just sweating. Yeah. I'm hot. Like, maybe maybe that's what the glow is. But whatever I'm giving off, I ain't gonna stop because I feel good. Mm-hmm. Like I feel good, man. Um, mm-hmm. And it makes me want to like be out. And I was talking to uh, Blake about that. And that goes back to the food I was eating, how I was working out, and that gave way to how I felt about myself. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I'm going out with y'all tonight. Mm-hmm. I eat some slop, for lack of better words. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like doing nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't feel good about myself. The food already got me, my blood sugar level and everything down. I don't feel light, I don't feel airy, I don't feel like doing anything. Mm-hmm. Mills, where you at? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to waste a hundred dollars on not feeling good, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the one number I was gonna get that night, like, I ain't even about to get that because I don't even feel like, yeah. man, yeah. I don't yeah. want to do nothing, man. So now that goes to damn, Mills, you flaking, mm-hmm. you indecisive, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit, now it's like, young boy, we say, young boy, you here early? Yep, yeah. where we at? Where we doing? <laughs> where we doing? Let's go. Where they at? Where they at? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the work? What you need help with? Yeah, like still have some indecisive moments. Um, can still procrastinate, but that's still work, 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 work. But nonetheless, mm-hmm. it's like yeah, I feel good about putting in the work. I feel mm-hmm. good about the doing what it what needs to be done. Um, mm-hmm. And it was just the process, man. The process, the process, the process. And now this is part. My relationships is part of the process because, and that's. The biggest relationship is with me, mm-hmm. me and God, mm-hmm. and God resonate in me and all of us. But mm-hmm. and that's my creator. But I had to have that relationship with myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and if I didn't like, if I didn't love myself, I wasn't happy with myself. If I didn't push myself, um, actually, like, and that, what you saying, executing, executing those pushing steps. I can't, I can't do the same for my my my, my family. My, my my partner, my, my children, so on and so forth, like I wouldn't be able to do that if I wasn't doing it to myself. Mm-hmm. For one, first and foremost, that'd be a big contradiction. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, you gotta starting off, we gotta eat right, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. Mm-hmm. 
what are you doing? Mm -hmm. We got to do this, we got to do that. Well, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. It's no, it's no rocket science. It's not trying to pull anybody's car, but it's just very rudimentary. Well, mm -hmm. results are results. Yeah. People don't buy into your product without results. Mm -hmm. People don't buy into your your brand without some some way of you showing like, oh, I show results. I was playing golf, and this is how let me on the golf. I was playing golf with Joey um, uh, and Justin, and. Justin wasn't going to take golf tips from Joey because he saw the way I swung. There's no shade or anything. Mm -hmm. All I'm very good golfers, by the way. Mm -hmm. But that just that little virtue just made me think. It's like that's that small little thing. Like people mm -hmm. buy into what they see. They buy into the results. You know what I mean? I can yeah. talk, 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 talk. But I ain't never known you to be a talker. And what I've seen, like game seven, that was just results. Mm -hmm. I just saw results, and that's how I got on the wave. You know what I mean? That's one of the biggest things. It's just results. Just do something to produce results. I can't expect anything from my relationships around me if I don't expect something from myself because therein I begin to pull on people. Mm -hmm. I begin to pull on people financially, mm -hmm. mentally, emotionally, physically, you know what I mean? Like, you don't got no job, man, you, where you getting money from? Mm -hmm. If you, you know what I mean? Hopefully, hopefully it's legit money, but where you getting money from? You go ask your, with your girl, your mom, your boys, mm -hmm. you start to pull on people. Mm -hmm. You don't feel good about yourself when you wake up in the morning, you start to pull on people to stroke your ego, emotionally build you up. Mm -hmm. um, and that therein is taking them away from their relationship with themselves and that har uh, tarnishes your relationship with them. Mm -hmm. um, relationship with friends, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like I said, man, friends become, like that small little thing about showing up for the club becomes a dad, man, Mills like, you're not showing up. Yeah. So when you don't get an invite, it's because it's the commonality of you're not going to show up. Mm -hmm. I don't not have no ill feelings or no one has no ill feelings, but it's just commonality. Why am I going to extend an invite when I know my man is Mills? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not going to extend an invite because Mills is my man's and mm -hmm. I know he's probably not going to come because it's, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So those things help me and just the, the thought process I wanted with my relationship with myself. Mm -hmm. So it, it sort of kind of, and I feel like everything works together. Like everything works works together. Um, the the relationship I wanted with myself, and that was going to exude the relationship I have with others. Um, and it it, it 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 shows, you know. What I mean, I'm exuding m more love, and that's not that's this is me really testifying right now. Testimony, like you exude more love when you feel good about yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not saying nothing like you got a whole lot. Like you said, we're not talking about riches. We're not talking about cars and all of that materialistic value stuff. I'm talking about stuff that's on the metaphysical that can't be touched. Mm -hmm. That is what we is what's the most attractive thing about this entire process, and it's what's going to give us all longevity. It's the metaphysical and the things, the non tangibles. Mm -hmm. um, I feel good about myself. Like you have that interact. Like you don't feel good about yourself. How are you gonna feel good about your little boy? Mm -hmm. Wanting to get up and play with him or Wanting to teach him anything, mm -hmm. you don't feel good about yourself. Like, and now about that's a whole other thing. Like now that starts to go into another toxic relationship at the nuclear level. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You you haven't I haven't had a real relationship with myself to know me to be able to have a substantial relationship with anyone else. Like, mm -hmm. you start to, and this is like I said, is, this is everything I've experienced. Like, you know, you have people, or when you're not feeling good, you pull on people. Financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, and that that's put tension on your relationship with that person. I mean, not only that, that brings more tension to yourself. You know what I mean? Because now you 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 feel guilty. Mm -hmm. You feel pressure. Like, damn, I didn't did all this. I mm -hmm. and I'm still ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm still ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm still ain't happy. Mm -hmm. I'm still not feeling good. You know what I mean? And all of this have suffered. Like, mm -hmm. something has to change. You gotta make a change, you know what I mean? Like, and it, it it's it go it's 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 my relationship with myself, man. And then that also gave off my relationship to others, whether I knew you in the, before or I'm just interacting with you now. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same at the same time, that it, all of this it makes me more and more appreciative and humble of the process. But it's a thin line because it's arrogant because it's, you ain't gonna tell me not about the process when I know the process yeah. and vice versa. Yeah. You know what I mean? You ain't going, you know what I mean? Only person you can, I'm going to talk to is somebody who knows the process and who knows a little bit more that I can take something and mm -hmm. call it arrogant, call it what you want. But mm -hmm. if you don't know the process, how could you really, you can read about the process, you can talk about it, but if you don't know it, how can you really 
express it to me in a real time manner. That way, I'm gonna get it. I can get it and make it applicable. Yeah. Because the only way you can make it applicable is to just do it, mm-hmm. just to make those small consistent steps. And I wanted everything, man. And I still do. I want my family and friends, my relationships with myself, my spirituality, everything to be better. My money to be better. My health to be better. Everything. Um, and it's just keep making those steps, keep producing those small little results, mm-hmm. those small, small little results. And even the small little results with how I interact with people, meaning those little things, like you start to get, or at least I began to notice a lot of stuff don't hit me the way they used to, or they're starting to hit me a different way. Some people might say, oh, you're conscious, you're woke, you're third eye open, I don't want to hear all that. Nah, I'm just aware of certain yeah. things. Like, I'm starting to take it in. I'm starting to look at it from a different angle, process it differently, and apply it differently. Mm-hmm. And then there are things where that might have affected me in, a, emotionally or mentally. It's where it's like, man, it's, I'm not even there anymore. Like, I don't even pay attention to it. I don't focus on it because I'm so, it, it's simultaneously. I became so engulfed in the process that I began, that I became happy and grateful of what I was producing that I didn't see anything else besides the results in the process. Mm-hmm. So then as I look back, I was like, oh, these are the results? Like you said, I don't, I, I like, I'm going to go back to this. I don't want to go back to this, but I'm going to stick to this process. Yeah. And we're going to keep going. We're going to stick with this process. What did I learn from my process before? Not to do this? All right, do something different. Keep mm-hmm. doing this. Keep growing. Keep making it. Don't go back to that. I didn't like those relationships I had. I didn't like those interactions. Mm-hmm. Um, don't go back to that. Mm-hmm. What I was receiving is how I felt about myself too. Mm-hmm. How what, whatever kind of person, partner you want to attract, mm-hmm. I'm a firm, firm believer to anybody, any man, any woman, especially any black man. I mean, no disrespect. You can get and do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. We have so much power, yo. Mm-hmm. We have so much greatness in us that we can get and do whatever we want. And it's that it's 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 all it's it's damn that 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 much responsibility that is scary, or is that powerful that is so re- you have to be responsible with it. like I can anyone can get carried away with it, but I can do whatever it is I want to do with my mind, my body, my spirit, my relationship, what I'm going to attract, what you're going to bring in, how you're going to create a healthy relationship, like how you're going to sustain a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. You can do whatever you want to do. I can do. Mm-hmm. It's just being consistent and starting with me. And just sticking with me like that's I feel I just I knew I noticed too one thing about it too when this previously like one of the things I had to work on is when you don't love yourself so much you either pulling on people to love or and by pulling on people to love you're gonna start to pour out more love that you don't even have to prove that you're trying to reciprocate that same love if I can clarify, you know what I mean? I don't have that to pour from, so how am I able to actually like redeposit into that individual? And it goes back to you, I'm putting a lot of attention on my relationships in every way, so I'm angry with my spouse. I'm angry with my partner, and now I'm angry with myself. I'm angry with myself, and now I'm angry with my partner, and it all comes back, and now I don't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. It's so, it, it, it all goes together. Mm-hmm. Eating, financing, finances, spirituality, and my relationship show like and that's 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 been a uh sheesh all of it feels good man but that's another good one like i like the way i'm interacting with my friends i'm like mm-hmm. the way i'm interacting with my family i like the way i'm interacting with young ladies yo like mm-hmm. and it's no funny business mm-hmm. it's no funny business man like the tones i'm setting the boundaries i'm setting you know the respect that i'm setting like the respect that i'm giving out the respect that i'm receiving like it's very small and it happens so so unnoticeable mm-hmm. just like these changes it was so unnoticeable mm-hmm. like so when i begin to attract relationships and things it's unnoticeable and that's when it's like you fucking with me you mm-hmm. me nah 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 not me <laughs> like in a new life bro yeah, yeah. <laughs> like let let me L tell you this story bro you gonna die laughing yeah. <laughs> You go die laugh, bro, but it's mm. like, wow, like. Mm. Yeah, I got the juice now. Man, yeah. Welcome back. Got the juice. <laughs> Welcome <it>. back. <laughs> Play Jeezy. Welcome yeah. back. Cue <laughs> Jeezy, like. Uh, and it's yeah. like, wow, man. So it's like having that part to like, yo, continue to build this relationship with myself. Mm. Being confident with myself. That's that's real. Mm. Be, that's reality, man. Like, 
and it and, and only thing about this conversation is my my body mass and my my BMI and all that was just higher. You can feel that and still be a small frame guy and still not yeah, yeah. feel like you you can you you really performing out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. financially, physically, mentally, with relationships, the frame doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like the frame doesn't mean anything. Stick to the process. Mm -hmm. Just stick to the process. Mm -hmm. Stick to the process. Stick to the process. And small little steps here and there, man. Like it, it, the relationships, the 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 way I'm 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 holding relationships, I'm moving forward in my life, saving money, mm -hmm. the way I'm 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 learning, it's just it's 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 it feels good, man. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to keep repeating that, but it really feels good. And all I'm, I'm gonna repeat that it feels good and I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. This isn't a perfect conversation. It will never be a perfect conversation. It's always more work to be done mm -hmm. and there's plenty of work to be done. Nowhere near done. Um, but it just feels good, like the process, like men, fellas, women, people, like the process, man, just do something. And it's, 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 it's rudimentary, it might sound cliche again, but that's basically it, man, just do something, man. Just do something. Even so much so, it was like, man, what am I going to do with life, man? I went, I went to school, I done did all of this, I should be making this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. Alright, well now that you know X, Y, and Z ain't X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. now you got to go do Z, Y, X. Go back to ABC. Do it. Mm -hmm. Figure out some code, some combination. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. Do it. Um, what works for you? Um, that's another thing, too. What worked for me might not work for some people. Um, and I often got, I get that, too, in, like, my interactions and with people and stuff. It's like, oh, what did you do? How did you do it? Yeah. And that's another humbling thing too, but it's a slight part of arrogancy because it's like, well, I don't want to tell you. Like, yeah. I don't. I mean, what, what do you want me to say? Like, because it ain't really no secret. It ain't no secret. Yeah. No like, secret. and I don't want to say it arrogantly, and I don't want to twitch my face up or anything. But it's like I don't really know what you want me to say because now another part. Eat this. Do that. Do this. These are process. This is step. This is step. This is that. This is what I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is what I did. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Ninja, you some fake health guru. Yeah, sure. Yo, exactly. Hey, but, what, but, but even again, yo, that's, well, what that's the, the way you could bro. eat. Like, that's like, so, I'm going yeah. to jump in. Yeah, go ahead. So, one thing you spoke on is like, you started to to look at things differently, right? Mm -hmm. That's called your reticular activation mm -hmm. system. That's what that's called. Right. Reticular activation system. So, that's like, right. you've never seen a Lambo before. Yeah. And then one day you see the red Lambo. Then you just start seeing it more. Yeah, it was always there at that rate or whatever. You just didn't train your brain to look for it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like once you see something, your brain starts to pick it up. So you notice like all this stuff in this office, it's like overload. But our brain tells us to focus on what's important for that moment. So as you start to expand, and you learn, oh, that's important. So you cross that off, and you start to look here. Right, that's your activation system. So like, what what? Like one way I'm shifting is like looking at everything as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Like what you just said, that's a wave. Like if you had, you got your before picture, you got your after picture. You start today taking videos and all that kind of stuff. I used to weigh 400. Now I'm a monster at 210. Yeah. Or whatever. Here's what I did. I'll show you a video. Get my workbook. Boom. <laughs> you feel me? You may only sell a couple, but that's a couple more than you had, mm -hmm. and, and you just continue to work continue to work because all oh, you want to know what I did we already know it's not that special but life is full of very simple things that are very hard to do all right so boom, here you go let me get that 15 yeah boom, here you go let me get that 15 it's the same 15 you go down U Street you playing more than that for a drink you feel me you mm -hmm. pay for this for your life mm -hmm. may not change everything yeah yeah right but all you gotta do is type it down write it down that's all we doing that's all we doing right what I'm saying but that that's another way and if you already see Pay attention. Like, I try to tell my girl this time. People look at you like you don't even notice. You feel me? Pack this shit out. Like do it. You feel me? But she's still getting there. Like understanding her value. Mm -hmm. And you gotta kind of be a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, want it. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not just gonna give it to you, right? Cause you already know most people just they hot for the moment, mm -hmm. and they're gonna be something that they really do. And the people that are with you, they're not gonna be looking to buy, and they just gonna be looking to contribute to themselves and to you. So that's a good one, a particular activation system. You just start to look at things differently. Um, your relationship with friends, 
That's a dope one. Yeah. I think a lot of people, at least people I know intimately, friends trash. Mm-hmm. We trash. super trash. We like, but that's why we're here today. Last year, like December, just was having some uh personal life problems because like he got the itch first mm-hmm. and he was just going in it. Like not doing nothing bad, but he was just I'm going to make this happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I think his goal was like, yo, I need $10 million by this date, and this is just what I'm going to do. Yeah. So he started he started rubbing people the wrong way. <coughs> so me, KP, and Blake pulled up on him like, yo, Josh, like, you, got, you might damage what you got going on because you're so lost in what you got going on. Like, he gave us his speech. Like, I still got it recorded. It was like, like it was at 4.44 p.m. I can't remember the date. 4.44 p.m.? 4.44. 444. Jay-Z. It was yeah, that's, a, that's numerology, yeah, bro. Check the numbers. And there's something else. The date was weird, too. Uh, maybe December 4th, maybe. Ain't that like day birthday, Jay-Z birthday? It is. No, I no. think that's when it was, yeah. December 4th. December 4th at 444. That's what the video says. And he's giving us this speech. Like, yo, fuck all the bullshit. We've been underachieving, and we got to get to it. And then Blake and KP was kind of looking like, yo, Josh, you kind of like scaring me. And I'm there like, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yo. And, then, and then after that, I, was, I, I never read a book in my life. I read three books, four books in like a month. Boom, that's what led me to like the IG, the 90 day commitment, was reading the Gary V. John, like mm-hmm. utilizing social media, yeah, yeah, yeah. put yourself out there. If you're going to be big or something, you probably got to get used to the camera. Boom, and I read the Grant Cardone John, 10X, do 10 times as much as what you're doing. So that's when I came up with the 90 day commitment. Like, uh, to the reading, the entrepreneurship, the uh, working out. That's my putting myself out there, and that was my 10 times thing, right? Taking information. And then things started to stumble upon it. I went in the group <laughs> chat, like, yo, man, no disrespect, but if y'all want a group chat, we're going to keep a G, and we're going to be focused on growth only, uh, let me know. I'll send you an invite. Everybody ain't taken. <coughs> Everybody still hasn't taken it. And usually niggas who still haven't taken it, still where they at. Mm-hmm. Cool. Personal decision. Mm-hmm. Right? So we changed to the other group chat chain. Tired of talking time to do. Right? And we just had all growth focused content at all times. Right? And then that led to, I'm sure you probably seen on YouTube, like our weekly meetings. Like we would just come together mm-hmm. and just mm-hmm. talk. talk about shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? And then we started talking and then some of those things kind of turned into ideas. Right? I put the press on Kendall, like, yo, you gotta do more. Then he meant to do that to Jim, who got us the first wave. It was like a speech for Kendall. And I said, do not respond. Do not, because I just wanted him to talk for an hour. Do not respond. We're gonna make a plan. All right? So boom, that's when Game 7 really came about. We're not just gonna speak to these dudes. We're gonna take the whole day. We're gonna teach them about all this stuff. We're gonna utilize our experience. We're gonna record it. Boom, all right? So that really, it started from Jess, putting the press, Started from me taking the initiative, putting the press on Kendall, meant to do game seven, and it, and it just kept going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like from my circle of friends, right? And there's still people I'm respectfully like disappointed in, right? Still my, but I know that, and that's what KP or something he's like, Mal, I know it's hard for you, because you like almost always want more f- from a person than they want for themselves. That's just how I'm wired, you know what I mean? No shade by it, but I also know the people that do buy in, Get results, yeah. The results may look different for different people. Yeah. But on the uh, personal note, uh, just got married a couple of weeks ago. He wrote all of his groomsmen <coughs> a letter, and it was pretty powerful. But he kept highlighting like, "Yo, Mike, you're the most consistent person I ever met. Like, don't ever stop. Yeah. You feel me? Like, you can't. I'm always, I'm always on it. So, I can, uh, I can help people with that part. But it just be kind of disappointing. Like, yo, I know you got more. And it don't require money. Mm-hmm. It don't require a gym. Mm-hmm. It don't require a woman. Mm-hmm. It just require you. You, yeah, know? Yeah, so you yeah. feel me? And like at the basics of it, like you gotta do. Like the, the number one thing, and it, it sounds so weird coming from me. I feel so hypocritical, y'all. It's like yo, just read. You feel me? Just read, and it starts to. Cause me, I always been like yo, I know this. Like you just don't know, and I'm trying to teach teach you, and you're just not getting it. But then I learned like what intelligence really means is being able to speak about one thing in various different ways. Mm -hmm. Like none of us are really intelligent about a phone. Like we can tell you it's a phone, a battery, maybe it got a SIM card, a screen and all that. But if you sat this joint in front of somebody that worked at Apple, yo, you got the two button interface Mm -hmm, with the mm -hmm. orange charger, the dual screen and all that, it'll be a much more intelligent response. Because they tell you about one thing 
in different ways. So like reading has has helped me become far more intelligent because the things I know, like you know, like I said, just do it. Mm -hmm. But I know it's like, yo, what that that's not what that mean. Like I know reticular activation system. I didn't know that before. A muscle refractory period. I didn't know that before. Uh, you spoke on dopamine, mm -hmm. right? I always knew of it, but I did. I thought it would just come from drugs. Mm -hmm. and that shit come from life. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that before. But that came from reading. That came from doing them podcasts. That came from working with kids from the projects. Working with kids from affluent situations. Teaching twenty one year olds. Teaching kindergartners. Right, and all, all that too. Like you should be in the game seven. Like I. I be like, yeah, we just started, but just like, nah, we started when we was twelve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and me and Jess, we taught our, we both started teaching together. This summer is like eleven years ago. Mm. We, we taught a, we taught yeah. a health and nutrition class at Lawrenceville Prep, which is like a top ten school in the country. Mm -hmm. So like, we've been on this, but it just, I wasn't looking at it. Like all this stuff, like we teaching other teachers now. We're teaching principals now. We're teaching coaches now. We're just teaching. People, like people hit me for like relationship advice, like, like all of these different kind of things, like just from experience and I started to look at it differently. Maximize the relationship with yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't love other people until you love yourself. And if you're in a shitty relationship or a shitty family dynamic, it's probably because you or the people you're choosing to be with, they're not hit with themselves first. So you can't do it for yourself. Like you said, if you don't got results for yourself, why am I trusting you to help me get there? If I see you don't love yourself, how you really gonna love me? Like you come in looking all sloppy and shit. That's something you control, unless you got some kind of disease or something that you don't control. Understood. That Understood. just means it's not important to you. If you're not prepared for this, it's not important to you. You came on this date, you ain't got your bread right. It's not important to you. And it's cool. Important things are different to important people. But once you hit a certain level, there's like a minimum number of important things hmm. to do. Like you're gonna show up on time at the very least. You're gonna be prepared at the very least. You want to be all these things at the very least, or you'll be hip enough to know. Yeah, I'm not ready for that whole slate, so I'm gonna just fall back. And I'm more than willing to let you know. Yeah, I can't, I can't do it in that regard. Yeah. Maybe we can hit McDonald's instead of Burger King or whatever the example may be. All right. Yeah. So love yourself. All right. So last question: How has your growth, your positive changes, affected any relationship that you may be in or not be in? Well, I'm current, I'm not in a relationship at the moment. I'm single. Um, go back to me. Uh, my relationship with myself is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the big, big one. How I treat myself, how I love myself. That's that's my main focus right now. 